Poppy Playtime Chapter 1 has been solved, and it also brings new clues about Chapter 4 and what happened at Playtime Company after the bloody Hour of Joy with the story so far. The new, official video that does more than just recap the story of Poppy Playtime, two secret codes, a narrator you might recognize, and facts, facts, and more facts to piece together the story of Poppy Playtime. The first thing that might catch your attention in the video is at minute one and a half, when after hearing Stella Graber's audio, a pretty great feeling too. the tape's video distorts with random sounds and images, among which you can see part of the maintenance VHS of the Poppy doll that had already been seen in some trailers. What's interesting here is that there are a few frames of the video that hide a secret message mixing numbers and letters. First, the number 4 appears, written in Roman numerals, followed by the letters A, R, G, appearing in this order, scattered around the corners of the screen. Finally, the message appears, let the game begin. So, the following phrase would be, for ARG, let the game begin. The initials ARG stand for Alternate Reality Game, a way of telling fictional stories that require real-world actions from the audience for the story to unfold. Something similar already happened happened with Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 and a website with a computer containing confidential information about Playtime Company and the boy who would be catnapped Theodore Gramble. This means that this video reveals that it's time for Poppy Playtime fans to get to work and uncover the clues about Chapter 4 of the game, which would explain why there is a number 4 written in Roman numerals. Immediately after, an alphanumeric code appears that doesn't seem to make sense at first glance, but is actually actually the first hint to Chapter 4, which we will solve in a moment. Security Log 0125 reveals that all the events occurring in the present of the game take place in 2005, confirming that 10 years earlier, in 1995, all the factory employees mysteriously disappeared. And what happened in 1995? The most violent and terrible massacre in the history of Playtime Company, The Hour of Joy. The Hour of Joy narrates how the factory Factory's bigger toys rebelled and killed all Playtime Company employees, a movement that seemed orchestrated by Experiment 1006, in which the Poppy doll appeared to be against, which is why Catnap ended up locking her inside a glass case found by the player at the end of Chapter 1. After this horrific event, and despite Leith Pierre's efforts to save the company, Playtime Company offices closed and were abandoned forever until 10 years later, when someone sent a distress letter to to be rescued, and that's how it all began. There is a very important detail in this security record, and it is the voice of its narrator, which is likely familiar if you played previous Poppy Playtime chapters. Throughout the video, it feels like the narrator behaves as a spectator inside Playtime Company, following all the player's movements. It's notable that he's impressed by the player's behavior, perhaps not expecting someone like them to break into the factory. The voice actor is Baldwin Williams Jr., who has voiced two characters in Poppy Playtime games, Dog Day and Dr. Harley Sawyer. Since Dog Day ended up possessed by a bunch of demonic dolls, it seems that the voice narrating the video is Harry Sawyer. Moreover, it's the same voice heard on the player's dream radio after being put to sleep by Catnap's gas. I find your presence intrusive. After all this time you return. Telling him he should have been there on the day of the hour of joy and rebuking him in a similar manner in the same video. Despite the current whereabouts of the doctor being unknown, according to the catnap check-in VHS from chapter 3, Harley Sawyer was disqualified to supervise catnap in 1994. Normally I'd have Dr. Sawyer do this, but he's uh out, let's say. So you got me until they find his replacement. But what stands out most about the doctor is in record 24459, found at the end of chapter 3. Here, Sawyer has a very interesting conversation with experiment 1006. The prototype questions its existence and Sawyer's actions, asking if he also feels pain. I possess a question. Go ahead. Do you feel This question referred to once exactly. 
Harley is confused and confesses that there is something very valuable and special inside him. There is a secret inside you, 1006. Valuable beyond all measure. Harley and the prototype say goodbye, but not before demonstrating that Experiment 1006 can mimic voices, including Harley Sawyer's. You thank me? Absolutely. I learned something new about you. This last revelation could suggest that the voice actually heard in this video comes from the prototype imitating Dr. Harley Sawyer. If the doctor is still alive, it's possible he has been transformed into a toy or controls them in some way, having survived while hiding in Playtime Company for 10 years. Surely, he has some control at least over one of the most dangerous toys, Huggy Wuggy. The warnings were always there, and besides the security alarms connected to the police and the warning video from Leith Pierre about not snooping around the factory. My warning, it's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Sawyer describes Huggy Wuggy as one of Playtime Company's security devices to prevent anyone from entering the facility. This is why Huggy Wuggy chases the player throughout Chapter 1. His purpose is to keep Playtime Company's secrets safe at all costs, even if it means killing, following the orders of the factory's current managers. Fortunately, the player managed to escape Huggy through the ventilation ducts and ends up discovering a hidden door unknown to any factory employee. There, the Poppy doll was inside a glass case, and the biggest secret of the video appears during a few frames with Poppy in the background. A large text with a hidden message appears for a moment without apparent coherence. It might seem like a random set of alphanumeric characters, but what hints at resolving it is the equal sign at the end of the message. This means it's a code written in a numbering system, but which one? Judging by the numbers, it's a base 32 system encryption, as it uses all the letters from A to Z and the numbers from 2 to 7. Using a base 32 decoder would be enough to translate the hidden message, which actually says, on felted feet and with bated breath, sleep draws ever near. It's actually written in a somewhat intentionally confusing style and can lead to various interpretations. First, there is the phrase felted feet, which could be interpreted as something that walks silently so you don't notice its presence. In case you didn't know, felt is a material commonly used to create toys and dolls. Secondly, there's bated breath, which means holding one's breath. This supports a theory that the toy refers to in this secret message is a silent being that stalks unnoticed. And finally, there's the phrase sleep draws ever near, which could refer to catnap and his gas that puts his victims to sleep. But after what happened in chapter 3, it's possible this phrase has a more poetic sense, not exactly referring to sleep. Given the video and game context, the most logical way is that by sleep, it means dying, not taking a nap, with death getting ever closer. Now, if you put it all together, Together, you have the first official description of the monster in Poppy Playtime Chapter 4. It's a doll or toy covered in felt, making it very silent. It needs this because its goal is to stalk its victims from the shadows unnoticed to catch them off guard and kill them. Moreover, literally saying felted feet suggests it's a bipedal monster and doesn't have claws like catnip. But of course, this is just an assumption. What do you think the monster in Poppy Playtime 4 will be like after the description in the the hidden message of the story so far. Don't miss the 25 secrets of Poppy Playtime I leave you here and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.